I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. What are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow <coughs> up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's. There's story. just so much Why to would do in of those New Atlantis. Give the discoverer visions and music. It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Likewise, you know where to find us. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. What is it? What can I help you with? I'm more than ready. Let's go. I figured it would I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Hey, um, hey. when you're not busy, let's chat. Bye. Need something? Welcome to Reliant Medical. If you're injured or sick, welcome to Reliant. How can I help? My goodness, you're in quite a state. Just relax. Everything looks good. Well, you've certainly come to the...
May you remain in good hands. Welcome to a real life. Take care of yourself. Good to be back on board. Good to see you. People say I need more problems. That's three right there. Do you need me for something?
Any way we can repay you? Of course. You take care. Imagine to tell you the number of inhospitable worlds like these that I've visited.
Should I warm up the engines? Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source has far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Something you need? Bye bye. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed to suck the credits directly from your pocket. Get up 
slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Well, with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge, I suppose we should pay it a visit, purely for exploratory purposes, of course. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Mokadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know that. If Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every ship in the settled systems. Got a call someone's power kept going out. You know what it was? I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Stroud Eklund makes some of the finest ships in the settled systems. I'd love to get a look at their operations. All right, I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes, uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish. But I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. 
Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Neuroamps? Feel like making a purchase today? Welcome to New Wolves. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I understand that, but when you're dealing with a snake like Secret, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants' alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm a businessman. You help me with this, and I have no problem compensating you for your time. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. 
I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend, started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbas Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. That's probably true. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the cellar back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what plan was. It's just too good. Neural amps? Oh, oh yeah. You know what they say. You know what? On second thought, I don't want to. Can't squeeze any Aurora from this fish.
Where is the deep Borealis? You know? Jesus? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Not interested. Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, we have plenty of that, but why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course, the Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. How unfortunate, but I will be here should you change your mind. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. You're an up-and-coming industrialist. Hm. And perhaps there's something we can do. Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. A loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. He cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Hope to see you again.
do autographs. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Cool. Most people that come up to me just want an autograph for a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. Programming the beats? Turning the dials? Come on, stay with me here. Oh, so it's my fault. I suppose next you're going to tell me it's okay for fans to start stealing stuff too. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And someone ripped me off. Total drag. Oh man. Wow. That'd be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? I started playing music when I was ten. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I cut my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am, booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> pretty crazy. Hope you're enjoying the music at the lounge. Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know, if you listen. The trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. It doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Hope you enjoy the show. Be a doctor. A doctor. Mothers, am I right? Clover over at Kelcor, she's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. Welcome to the 
Astro Lounge. Come back soon.